Yeah, this won't fit in my head. Hey, look, we're going live. YouTube's working today. Sick. Suck. What is up, guys? Yo. All right. What, uh... What do you use to cut down a tree in the forest? Let's see if chat knows this, knows this answer. Yeah, we did, UK Extreme Metal. How's it going, buddy? What's up, Block? What's up, Kyle? Javier Trevino? What's up, SDS? What's up, Wallex? What's up, CT? Norbert? House of Horrors? Brimsy? How's everybody doing? I keep just getting weapons that I already have. It's great. Good to see all you dudes already. I gotta move my chat on my screen because it's a little far away from where I'm looking. Hey, that's pretty neat. Bellow Wood for the 1903, okay. Cheers, boys. What's the answer? Uh, Asa, dude. Asa, dude. What's up, Owen? What's up, uh, Vargas? Alright, we're gonna do more of the new DLC today, provided I can find a server. Is this real? Okay, let's change our slots out. 10 plus 9. North America. Okay, this should find us something. Um, premium early access. There are like no new DLC servers. Oh my god, already? God, that's brutal. Um,. Okay, so we're going to join this server. Uh, so go to your server browser and punch in 80570. We're going to go with a different strat. We're going to go with a server that's like just getting started for the day. So 80570. 80570. Let me put that into the server thing for Nightbot. 0570. All right. What's up, Lewis? Still have to watch on YouTube gaming? Man, that's bizarre. That is really bizarre. Uh, Norbert, I'm good, man. I'm I'm great. I woke up late. No surprise. I do have to work uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday uh, of this week. So that means it'll be night stream only from here on out. Um, but yeah, all, uh, all in all, doing great. Uh, 14 likes on the stream. Appreciate that, guys. What's up, Trent? What's up, Phoenix? Hey, Seth. JCH is in school. Rough, bro. Love the EU-friendly stream. Nice, man. Yeah. I feel like I haven't been going live this early lately. I need to get back to doing it. I need to, like, actually get a good schedule. My schedule sucks. It really sucks. Uh, Blaster Max, how's it going, buddy? Also, just a warning. OBS loves to drop immediately when I start my streams. Look, about five minutes in, expect the stream to just shut off. Just refresh it. I'll still be here. It's just a bug with YouTube right now. I, I don't know why it's happening, but expect it to happen. No work today? Nice, man. What's up, Julian? All right. So this is like the only they shall not pass server I could find. Um, so join on in. You like Toronto Maple Leafs? I mean, they're not bad, but this is a, this is a blue leaf spring training hat. Did I just say blue leaf? Blue jay. I'm so stupid. So the server's not full yet. Join on in, guys. If you have the DLC. Restarting around. All right. So it seems like enough players join. Yo, I think they made it so that... Was that a fighter plane or an attack plane? I don't know. You good? I'm doing great, Sam. How about yourself? Uh, yeah, no, I am I bought Modern Warfare Remastered. I plan on streaming that. I don't really plan... I might do, like, 
a walkthrough of the Infinite Warfare campaign, although I don't know if I'll even bother because it's been out so long. Like, I might do a stream of Infinite Warfare just to kind of rag on it, but yeah, I bought the new COD. Well, new COD, like six months late. But I bought it for the old COD, for COD 4, so I'll play that first. Where's the haircut? It still hasn't happened, mate. Let me get my goddamn haircut. Uh, before the round starts, you can, like, actually spawn in, uh, Q-Kid. What's up, Varun? Don't play any Infinite Warfare, it's garbage? Yeah. That's what I thought. Like, I, I played the, the alpha and the beta for it. I was just like, man, this is dog poop. It was so bad. Like, not only, like, I don't personally mind a future setting as long as the game was good. Like, I didn't actually mind... Uh, Black Ops 3 that much. I'm out, I mean, some people might think that's silly. But I, I did actually think it was a pretty decent game. I mean, it, it kind of removed some of the tactical... The tacticalness of Call of Duty by having people able to jetpack around corners rather than having to properly set up and hold corners. But I still thought at the end of the day it was pretty fun. But Infinite Warfare just wasn't even fun. There's no redeeming qualities of that game. To me, it's just a poorly designed game. Oh, potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes man. At least that guy killed himself. Saw so, dude, what's up, Vorny? Good to see you, mate. I'm shooting a, like a moment too late on these planes. Is that an empty? Yeah, it's empty. Is Battlefield fun? I have a lot of fun with it. I put over 20 days in Black Ops 3. Yeah. Yeah, Black Ops 3 is not bad. Shouldn't say not bad, it's actually pretty fun. We have taken objective <clears throat> Do you speak any French? Uh, just un peu. Je ne parle pas beaucoup de français. I do want to learn some more though. Uh, my recording from OBS. I'm streaming from OBS and then if I do something nice, I usually just use the, uh, the YouTube DVR. But yes, overall I use OBS. Yeah, I don't really speak French. You're right. <laughs> Alright, that is the spooky, spooky trench man. Oh my god, the deflection? Seriously? Enemy medic sighted. Spotted a sentry. Man, he can eat a few shots there. Somebody trying to fix me right now? Enemy medic there. It sounded like there was like a repair sound going off. But I don't know if that's just me. Hey. What do I use to record live streams? OBS. OBS. Which stands for Open Broadcast Software, if you didn't know. Oh, man. Oh, man. Alright, so this gives me an opportunity to use the new gun. Uh, this is the MLE Extended. I, I feel like I never see anybody else using it, because most people haven't unlocked it yet. You need to get 75 kills with the land ship. It's not the greatest, but it's pretty decent. It's kind of just like a better MLE that shoots quicker, does the same damage, and has a buttstock so it doesn't kick like a mule. But it's not automatic, it's not like the Frommer stop. Uh, do you, what do you think about the new medic gun? 
it, it's wor worth it. Um, but it's not amazing. It's just kind of like a... We have lost objective. Here, here's my take on the medic gun. It's the best medic gun if you're not getting shot at. The time to kill is amazing if you're not getting shot at. It's just pop, pop, two hits. But if you're getting shot at, the suppression effect and the... Um, the suppression effect and the flinch effect, which means when you get shot and your gun pops up, uh, is the worst on any medic gun in the game. It is maximum flinch. And for that reason, I don't really like it because it gets you killed in a lot of situations. We have lost objective Charlie. Just because you'll end up you'll end up missing like all your shots from excessive flinch. So this gun does like no damage at range. There's an enemy horse rider. Probably should have shot at that guy. Mm. I guess we'll keep working towards Charlie. Problem is with this area is that you don't really have a straight lane to go through. Oh god. I can never understand why sometimes you like the anti-tank grenade will hit and just immediately explode and other times it will bounce. Would you suggest grinding for the MLE over the revolver? Wait, what's the revolver? What's up, Gari? That's pretty good. We have taken objective apples. Trying to flank behind him here now. Just a little bit. This thing is pretty decent. I don't know. We're protecting the objective. There is a lot of dudes up on that bridge right now. Oh, the nade, man. That's a fun little fun little run there. Hey, free lover. Dread's in your game. It's time for Dread to lag. What's up, pro bro? Anyone else change your monitor's brightness on the new DLC maps? Oh, I thought I was going to get a res and be fine there. Keep the MLE streak going. That's rough. Yeah, Oscar, the channel's growing like crazy. Uh, I do have an Instagram, yes. Uh, DJ Upshell. I'm trying to get... <laughs> now that I uh, do YouTube more, I feel like I'm trying to get more regular uh, pictures up there. I do live in a really nice spot. It's a really nice spot for pictures. Oh my god, there's still a lot of guys here. Hey, that's pretty good. That wasn't. Man. <laughs> this is why I have cavalry level like 40 now. What the F is going on here? I think everybody just decided to miss their shots together. Got him! 
That's why weapons like the, or melee weapons like the Sawtooth or the Shovel can be a bit better because it's always a two bang. Melee kill instead of swinging three times. Ah, uh, no, I haven't actually tried the Secret Cavalry one-shot sword. I need to do that. Having problems seeing enemies? Just way too dark? Yeah, they definitely are a little bit more grim. That's for sure. Um, I might try changing my brightness settings. I find... Oh, is it worth getting the MLE or stick to the revolver? Uh, I would prefer the MLE over the revolver, but I, I don't think the revolvers are good at all anyways. But that's just kind of my opinion. I don't... I think they're kind of underpowered in this game. Like, they should not be... Um... They should not be three-shot kills close quarters because their fire rate is terrible. Like, their fire rate's like just over 100 rounds per minute. So why should they only take... Why should they take three bullets to kill somebody? I don't like the way dice has balanced them in this game. There's really no reward for using them. Like, the 1911 is a three-shot kill. The Frommer Stop is a four-shot kill. And those shoot way quicker. They'll shoot like three or four times as quick. Do I have a daughter? No. I'm celibate, dude. Plus the reload time, plus the recoil. 4.2 KD though, fire. It was 4.2. It's actually, um... It's actually like a 5.2 now. Oh. Got caught by that guy at range. What's up, buddy Flops? All right, let's take a horsey, man. We're kind of stomping these guys already. Uh-oh. Yeah, sick, sick spot to be right now. All right. I don't really want to mess with a tank and like 8 billion infantry dudes. So I kind of got out of there. Sometimes it's just nice to leave an area, get your bearings, and push back in. Because I was kind of just thrown in there in the middle of their whole team. Yo, I'm dead totally. Try, bud. Well, I'm not really doing a whole lot better. What the f is going on? I don't like how I can't see shit. What the F is going on? There we go. Holy moly. That was... That took a little while. It's only a little awkward. Yeah, this guy's chasing me down again. Oh, boy. Enemy tank. All right, they're on to me. Holy. Holy guacamole. Yo, can we get a Hay Bales OP in the chat right now? Hay Bales OP in the chat. Oh my god, it's the behemoth. Alright. Time to go. Time to go. Alright, 
taken objective Charlie. There is ammo. Woo. Rats on the AK. Appreciate that, Jake. All right, that's pretty good. So that behemoth still is up and has a lot of health. Don't think that guy's alive anymore. I'm gonna go all the way back to Dove. Because at the end of the day, can't really do anything to the behemoth, and he's going to dominate this area of the map. Yeah, I saw that TS gaming. That looks awesome. So for those who don't know, prepare to have your jimmies rustled. Because they're testing in the CTE, the community test environment for this game, a new variant of the Martini that has a sniper scope on it. And a bipod. It's pretty hype. It's pretty hype. You look like DSP. Who's DSP? Isn't that that weirdo who like jerked off on stream or is that somebody else? Oh my god. The nade spam is real right now. We have taken objective. Bing bong. He is still up right now. Where's that thing? Camping martini snipers incoming? At least they'll suck. I mean, that thing sucks at range. Oh, no, I killed the horse. Oh, oh, I got pigeon powered. I got pigeon powered. Shit. What up, boy? What's up, people can fly? What's up, man? Would I actually use the martini again if it was given a scope? Hey, I'm all for them adding in new things to grind for and more configurations. Do I prefer SMLE Carbine or G95 Carbine for quick scoping? I prefer the uh, G95, but the SMLE is not bad for it either. The SMLE is just kind of like better for a bit further of range because its damage ramps up instead of starting high and declining. Is this DLC worth it? I think if you really enjoy Battlefield 1, it's worth it. If you don't really enjoy Battlefield 1, it's probably not going to be worth it. My other concern is that servers are low-key already dead. Um, for some game modes, like operations, like it's hard to find an op, I, I guarantee you, I wouldn't be able to find an operations game right now, at this early in the day. I might be able to get one going, considering how I'm streaming, so we might be able to get some people joining in on me, but like, the average person will probably not find a North American ops game this early in the day, um, which is not good, it's not good at all. So I'm worried about like buying premium and in like a year when they're releasing the third or fourth DLC, nobody even still be playing them. Like that was what happened to Star Wars Battlefront. It, and it's kind of just like an implicit problem with DLC map packs. It's not necessarily that the new content's not worth it. It's just that people don't want to spend another $50 on a, on a $60 game, you know? What? Right if I make the question less complicated, yes, I think the new DLC is worth it.
go. First aid, use it. Take that first aid. Uh oh my god. I got your back, Dread! We got the cav crew riding out right now. Yeah, cooking grenades would be neat. For sure. I agree with that. I feel like it would just be another thing too to add a bit of, of skill to this game. God. I don't even have any rounds left. And I got charred. Hey, Dark Cobra. What's your take on the Hell Regal? It's kind of garbage. Uh, well, I shouldn't say it's garbage, but it's it's probably the most overrated gun in the game. The reason I say that is its fire rate is not very good. It's accurate accuracy straight up pretty bad. Um, so people think it's kind of like a mid-range assault gun, but it's not. You get out-damaged by, like, everything, man. And then in close quarters, you get out-damaged by, like, stuff like the Automatico and the shotguns. So it doesn't really have a range that it's good at. It mostly just has ranges that it gets beaten at. It's good for multi-kills. If you get a flank... I love suppression. Um, if you get a flank off, it can be amazing because you have 60 rounds... Uh, to kill people, <laughs> but like I've gotten some pretty dirty clips coming up behind people on a map like Argon Forest with it. But overall, yeah, it just doesn't do much damage, man. Enemy tank over there. Take an objective, All right, forty-nine and I know a person who has Battlefield 1 Premium on open, and he's never going to play it because he got Ghost Recon. Damn. Yeah, Nick, I'm not working today, buddy. Uh, I'll be working tomorrow, though. So, late stream tomorrow. How could they fix the DLC splitting the community problem? Um, I hoped that when they introduced Battle Packs, it was going to be like a microtransaction thing that paid for the DLC. I hate it when games have, like, both a microtransaction system and a DLC map pack system in a game because it just seems like really severe money grubbing. Like, give us all your money in any way possible. Um, I understand that game developers had to make money, but to me, people like spending money on microtransactions. They like buying skins. They like opening packs and getting that roll of the dice to see if they can get something dank. So why not just make that system better? And then open up the DLC packs to everybody. It'll drastically increase the longevity of your game. I mean, you look at Rainbow Six Siege. I always say this. But if you look at Rainbow Six, that has free DLC map packs with a really good microtransaction system. Like skins you actually want. Character skins you actually want. Animations you want. Um, in their game. And people buy them for that reason. And then, the, And people feel a lot better about buying the microtransactions when their community is not split between all the new characters and all the new maps. And it's it's dope too because like they even have a, a season pass system where you can get a week early access to it. And it only costs like 20 bucks and for a full year you get that one week early access. Like to me, that's not worth it for many people but for the real big Rainbow Six Siege diehards, they can get like a little bit of a fix a little bit earlier. So yeah, I don't know. I think it's. I think they need to really rework the DLC system for Battlefield games because I think that's part of the reason why the uh, the player count is not as high right now. Yeah, there is a Hell Regal with 120 rounds and an optical sight in the mag. What's up, Chris? I'm bored at work. What's going on, buddy? Now. 
watch it. A trench raider kit is available near your location. So, dude. All right, this is gonna be kind of risky down here. I'm gonna put my gas mask on. Drop a bag. More opportunities for puzzle pieces? Yeah. All right. I'll mark Dove for that dude. See, normally they push onto this point really hard, but they're not, which is weird. Come here, boy. There we go. We have taken objective dust. You don't really need to run around with that melee weapon out. Kind of get in the habit of doing so, but. Okay, we're gonna get down. They're trying to just AT rocket the piss out of us right now. Oh, I hate that so much! I knew I was gonna die to that. I knew I was gonna die to a freaking AT rocket. Damn! What's up, Cake Boss? Uh, server number is exclamation point server. So, C93 Carbine. With telescopic sight. I know, bro. I don't know why they don't have guns like that in multiplayer. Man, itchy freaking head right now. Ugh. I should probably use some of the label, but... Honestly, that new sniper is a little underwhelming. Fire rate's low. It's very, very accurate, but I mean... All the snipers are pretty accurate, so I don't really see the big benefit in that way. Yeah, their whole team is just sniping. Except for these guys not sniping on the point. Never mind. Holy. Hey, basic miniature. That, the bell is really underwhelming, man. I don't really know. Like, doesn't really seem to have any good features. What's up, Tim? I'm gonna die here. We have taken objective Charlie. All right, there's a dude up here on this point. Yo, you want to see a guy who's sick of mortars? Sick of mortars. <laughs> it's funny though, because they made like one of the challenges: getting Lewis gun kills and getting mortar kills. And that's all you see on these new maps, man, are Lewis gun kills and mortar kills. It's kind of funny. At least they made other challenges, um, like get melee kill or get, uh, get re revive kills and stuff. Hey, Willows, how's it going, buddy? What's up, Simon? Somebody just took a snap at me. I think that's coming from Dove. Yeah, it is. We've got to capture the position. Yeah, challenges challenges instead of like level grind to me are a much better way to go about it. Also, to those who are unaware, I bought Call of Duty Modern Warfare last night. Would you guys be down for, like, a, a campaign stream of that?
Ooh, ow. It burns. Saw, so, dude. What a cheeky peek hole, man. Am I gonna play any front lines? I don't know, man. I feel like if I wanna play front lines, I just play ops. Front lines is cool. But it takes too long. Like it gets a little monotonous. Oh my goodness gracious. I am not streaming that. Like, here's the thing. Like, I can't stream Battlefield all the time. I'll burn myself out on it. I already kind of, like, feel a little burnt this week just, like, when I did my 12-hour stream. So I want to, like, get some other streams on the channel. It'll not necessarily mean less Battlefield time. It'll just be, like, it's, it's hard for me to stream both... Do two streams a day and have both of them be Battlefield, you know? It's a lot of Battlefield. <laughs> so, I could just do, like, a... F I still plan on doing a three or four hour stream every day of Battlefield 1. And then having another one that will be, like, Call of Duty. Or a bit of Wildlands or something like that. Or Rainbow Six. I know a lot of people like that game, too. We have lost objective Edward. Most difficult thing about streaming R6 is the matchmaking and organizing a squad. What's up, Mike? I'm also not near as good at, at Rainbow as I am at Battlefield, like not even close. I've only got like a 2 KD in Rainbow. I mean, it's a bit of a different game, but still. Um, so I feel like I wouldn't be as enjoying to watch from like a gameplay standpoint. Are all these guys for real? They're just lying there. Do I run two times zoom on the G95? Yes, yes. I did flick it around a little bit though. Um, I haven't always run two times. I've run it as low as like, whatever the lowest setting is. And I've tried 1.5 times for a good while. Probably like a good 2,000 kills or so. You sorta of gotta feel it out, like. I think a, a certain setting works better for me, but that setting might not necessarily work is good for you. It's kind of all like a personal preference type of thing. And there come the mortars. Yeah, boy. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, mortars are a good thing because they reduce camping. They can just be so annoying when you're in a good hold. And they start mortaring the crap out of you. Listen to someone. Oh god, bad shooting, bad shooting. Can I change the color of the red dot? Uh, yeah, I think you can do that in one of the advanced settings. But I'm not 100% sure. 
I think you can change reticle color. I think somebody was mentioning about that, complaining about World War One realism, but it's an accessibility setting, so I don't know what the hell they were talking about. the headshot. It got me killed. We are losing objective Charlie. Our six siege is refreshing. Yeah, I want I want to bring other stuff on the YouTube channel for sure. That guy is using the 1903. What a hero. Now, let's see. I'm hoping somebody will run down this way. Doesn't seem like they're going to. Sick, I love it. We have taken objective apples. Oh! Well, this is not good. They were, we're all spotted out right now. Fog on this map, man. This is like freaking giant shadow all over again. Show the cat. He's not in the room right now. Yeah, R6 Siege is fantastic. The, the biggest issue for me, like, with it and streaming it, is matchmaking time. Matchmaking time is broken. It, you can get stuck in lobbies just searching and searching and searching for, like, literally a half hour at a time. Nobody wants to watch that. So that's my only issue. But yeah, R6 is brilliant. Best competitive shooter on the console right now. Modern Warfare games suck, and yes, I played them. I respectfully disagree, but I respect your opinion, man. At the end of the day, you know, it's all it's all subjective. There's no re real right or wrong opinion on that type of thing. If you don't like something, you don't like something. Where the F is this dude? Like, I literally can't even see him. There we go. These maps are so dark. Community is the main problem? Yeah, okay. Definitely see where you're coming from there. A little spooky. I don't really know how I'm not burning right now. But I ain't gonna complain about it. I got bested. Can I stream Watch Dogs too? Stick to night vision on. <laughs> uh, my cat is on my Instagram. If you want to check my Instagram, you can see my cat. Play with the sweeper. All right, it's probably not a bad option for this right now, especially where visibility is reduced. Show the cat. Guys, he's not in the room. Unless you want to see me missing from the camera for 10 minutes. I don't know. Maybe that's what you want. I had to go find him. He might even be outside, so...
Uh, Instagram is DJ Upshell. It's in the description of the stream. Can I stream Watch Dogs 2? I don't think anybody wants to see that. <laughs> it is a free trial, but I don't think anybody wants to watch Watch Dogs, watch Dogs 2 gameplay. I think I get the most viewership and the most people seem to be enjoying what's going on when I'm streaming multiplayer games. People like that stuff. What's up, Crunchy Dan? Morning, my bro from the land of snow. What's up, Shield? How's it going, mate? Bro, it's so dark, man. I can't see anything. Everybody just blends in. BF4 is better, in my opinion. Not accounting for the bad launch. Yeah, I think that's... I think Battlefield 4 is a better game for longevity. There just was more to do in Battlefield 4 in general. Not that I'm, this is not something to be like, I hate BF1 thing, but I mean, it, it's hard to compare a, a World War One game and a Modern Warfare game for content. It's just like, one doesn't really stack up against the other. I mean, BF4 had freaking helicopters, man. Freaking helicopters. That is either an AT rocket or. Alright, they're all beneath. Oh, God, the bayonet. I don't think BF1 was rushed. We have lost objective <clears throat> Edward. We have taken objective Charlie. BF1 does has its bugs, but they're all kind of like legacy battlefield bugs. Like, how the hell are these still in every game bugs? Sweepers is so fun, man. You can just be aggressive, and it'll let you do it. I'm going to capture the objective. Okay, that's enemy flares. I'm going to run away from those. I think this guy was in here. Nope. Here we go. Now I'm dead. See ya. <laughs> Boom! Headshot. Yo, KTS. LaBelle model ain't that great. You're not wrong, KTS. You're not wrong. Hitting it up with the $5 tip with the boom headshot. Appreciate you, KTS. Guys, can we get a sun in the chat? Going for KTS. Appreciate the support, man. How are you doing? How was your night? Worth. We have lost objective Charlie. <clears throat> I'm so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 
I like how I can cap from up here. Just done some BF1. Labelle reload is so slow. Yeah. It's bad, dude. It's just like not a good gun. Enemy machine gun. Okay, that's Uno. Here we go, we almost got the cap. This is one thing I really like about BF1 that, that Battlefield 4 kind of dicked on is destruction. Like, the destruction of the buildings is really good in this game. Oh. Hey, hugs for drugs. Melee animations are brutal, yes. Almost every gun in BF4 played the exact same. We have taken objective charge. Like, do you mean the like? We have taken objective I can kind of see where you're coming from. I guess each class of gun plays the same, sort of. <laughs> of course, he's got a 10A slug. Audio on BF1 is amazing. Dice always does a really good job job with uh, with audio, man. I think that's like one of Battlefield's strength, and it's kind of always been his strength. It's just the overall atmosphere of the game is great. It's like really immersive. It makes you feel like you're actually in a war zone, which I feel like is especially important to nail when it's a World War One game. your slug away, man. Put it away. You're injured. I can help. Are you hurt? I'll pack you up. Take that first aid. Have you tried front lines? <clears throat> yeah, it goes too long. First aid. Get passed up. We have lost a <laughs> Yo, Sucram. Appreciate the tip, buddy. Um, the DLC is pretty good. If you think... My advice is that if you think you're going to be playing Battlefield 1 in like a year's time, buy it. Because the last DLC... Or buy Premium. Because the last DLC is probably not going to be released for like a full year. Um, but if you don't think you are, then it might be worth it to wait the two weeks to pick it up. I still think you should buy it anyway if you enjoy Battlefield 4 at all. These are the best maps. Well, some of the best maps, in my opinion. Um... Maybe with like the exception of Rupture and Swasan, but those are those are also pretty good. They're not bad maps, but um, Verdun and Fort Vaux are both in my top five maps for Battlefield Four or Battlefield One. What am I saying? Ouch! Video Sucram, appreciate that tip, dude. It's good to see you again. Yo, Sucram, aka Marcus, appreciate the second tip. Pretty cool talking to donations. It's, it's pretty cool talking to you, man. It's definitely cool talking to you. Guys, can we get a big assault in the chat for, for Sucram? Out of the DLC, I had to give it to the infantry maps? Yeah, I agree. Verdun's the worst map on the full game. Well, seems like we get a, a mix of opinions here. I like Verdun on Conquest a lot. I, I don't like it on, uh, on Operations.
Maybe I like it because you don't really have another map that's like infantry but still really, really open in this game. Like most of these maps, if they're if they're open, they're for tanks. It's kind of like the dice formula. Alright, there we go. 53 and 11 is not bad. <laughs> Ash hold it. I like it. Basically sniping with the LMGs, yeah. Hey, Extreme Toxic. Never thought I would say it, but I'm loving the infantry-only maps. Yeah. It's good to mix it up, I think. Like, it's, uh... I feel like some of the tank-only maps can become a little monotonous if you're just only playing tanks all the time. Alright, boys. And grills. Fort Vo. Let's go. Uh, I always tap fire the sweeper. The uh, the bloom on it can get kind of awkward if you try to spam it too much, I think. Do you think they'll do more free content like Giant Shadow? Um, I kind of foresee they will in like a year. They did the same thing with BF4. I can't see them not doing that. If the community's still on Battlefield 1 in a year. At work, board of shit, checking out the stream. What's up, Casey? Want the raider kit so bad? Dude, uh, the trench raider on this map would be kind of a nice addition. I don't really know why they didn't add the trench raider here. Like, it might be OP with these kind of close quarters, but I feel like it could just be so funny with some of the flanks you could pull. Yeah, I agree, Willows. Four is my favorite, too. Do you recommend me buying premium tonight? Uh, if you got the money and you really like Battlefield, go for it, man. That damn objective. A sentry kit is a Uh, Steph David, thanks for the sub. Alright, boys, we're capping her. I'm getting lit, though. Alright, I need to kind of get out of the frying pan here. I'm glitching. Oh, that show show, man. It's so good in close quarters. Just three banging me. We are losing objective butter. What's up, Kandar? I don't care what you stream anymore. Anything you stream, I'll enjoy. Well, I appreciate that, man. It's cool to hear that, because not everybody's that chill. <laughs> Some people are like, oh, dude, don't do that, man. Play Battlefield 1 only for the rest of your life. So it's cool to hear that opinion. Oh, my sweet, honorable God. If I had gotten one nade off into that corner, that whole thing would have blown. It would have been instant triple. I might get a res here, though. Nope, he tried. Why don't I ever revive? I do if it's safe to do so, but if there's a million guys around me, I'm not going to do it. Because that's just going to get you and then the guy you just revived killed again. Off, 
Rainbow revives don't really work. I need that one more bullet. I need that one more bullet. You know what I haven't done on this map, and I'm going to try right now, is going all the way back to the Automatico. I haven't used the Automatico on this map before. So let's go with that. Also, guys, we are at uh, 73 likes in the stream. Can we shoot for 75 likes? That'd be dope. Appreciate you. Let's go with a little bit of Automatico. Have I experimented with LSD? Uh, no officer, I have not. Thank you some of that. Thanks, man. I think he might have been dropping that for himself, but I'll take it. Yo, Automatico's amazing, man. Uh, there's still a guy sniping deep. We can't bipod. Alright, let's get back to Dove. Don't let them take the objective. Hey, what's up, Overkill? Gonna go. We captured the objective. Okay, so there's a million dudes over on this corner. Let's hope they're not paying attention to the uh Flag indicator. So there's one other guy in this point with me right now. There's a couple now. Oh sugar. We have taken objective apples. Where'd you go, bro? Okay, thanks Dice. Appreciate you Dice. Very consistent. Very reliable environmental movement there. Oh, I thought he wouldn't have seen me. He did though. Reveal the cat! Guys! Here is the issue. The cat is not in the room with me. He's outside. That was not meant to be a dab. That's just a point. That's the direction of the outside. I cannot just whip the cat out. I don't have a magical cat whistle that just summons my cat to the stream. All right? I'm sorry. Okay? The cat is not here right now. What's up, overkills? How's it going, bro? Cat whistle would be pretty cool in concept. But unfortunately, it's not real. <clears throat> we are losing objective apples. I got it. Oh, I got some. I get frame rate dips over on this part of the map, like really badly. It's not cool, man. Uh, Vincent, thanks for the sub, buddy. Yeah, bad dips over here, man. Like, oh. Anybody who plays PC, do you get frame rate dips in this area of the map as well? This is like the only spot where I notice dips in the DLC, but it's really bad. I always get them over here.
Ok. Ok. Bats! I need bats! Bats! There we go. That uh, that voice crack was intentional. Calculated. Totally meant to do that. The cat will come if you yell "sa dude" as loud as possible. Interesting. Sa dude. No, I don't think he's coming, dude. I don't know like that guy just said enemy tracer. Hey, that's pretty good. Oh my god, the nades? The nades? Hey, bro. Oh, you don't even have meds. Anybody got any meds here, boys? I'm wounded. Medic. Oh my god. There's a medic over here. Stupid asshole, man. God damn medics. Alright, we're getting auto heals. What's the name of my cat? Uh, Cade. I named him after Cade 6 from Destiny because I'm a nerd. And I actually really enjoy Destiny. They really increased that uh, impact nade fuse timer. Would Destiny be a good game to stream? Uh, at this point, no, because it's it's kind of dead. But Destiny 2 is coming out this fall, and I plan on streaming that. And I think they're planning on making it a lot more. Like esports and competitive focus, it's gonna actually be 60 FPS for starters. I mean, the actual game Destiny was really, really fun from like a competitive shooter standpoint. Just some aspects of it needed to be nailed down. So I'm hoping they make it a little bit more competitive because really, console needs something as a competitive shooter aside from Call of Duty and Rainbow Six. That's like the only options we have right now. Uh, yeah, Overwatch is really good. It's a competitive shooter. We are losing objective dust. Probably no point for me jumping around while I'm using this kit. Capture the objective now.
How many hit markers can one man get? Meds! Meds! I clearly want medication here, kid. What do you not understand about this interaction? Are you even real? Are you even, is there a person in there? I don't know. We are losing objective butter. Difference between a shooter and a competitive shooter? Uh, it's kind of just more set up to be played as an esport. It's more balanced. And really, the only difference between a competitive shooter and a shooter is whether or not people follow it from a competitive standpoint. But like Battlefield One is not a competitive shooter. I walked into that. I walked right into that. Feels bad, man. Esports are BS. Cake Posh, you seem to think a lot of things are BS. Why do you think esports are BS, man? I love watching esports. <clears throat> I guess at the end of the day, man, it's like anything. If you, if you enjoy watching it, you enjoy watching it. It's alright, boys. I got it. I got it. Oh, son of a gun. I shouldn't have got, got around that corner while reloading. That was an ill jump over the dude, though. <laughs> yeah. Except he got me killed. It's an excuse to use prescription drugs. Well, prescription drugs are banned for esports now. I don't really know if it's an excuse to use prescription drugs. I mean, anybody can really use prescription drugs. You just gotta get a prescription. I don't really know what your point is here. <laughs> I don't really get it. Hey, Cartel. What made you choose PS4 over Xbox? Because I bought it at launch, and at launch of the next-gen consoles, the PS4 was $100 cheaper, and spec-wise, it was slightly more powerful. So, to me, that's an easy pick. Like, makes sense to buy the gaming system that costs less and runs games at with like a hundred more pixels. Oh, well, that's not really how it works, but. <clears throat> now it's a bit of a different story. Now it's kind of like go with the console that most of your buddies play, because Xbox One is actually cheaper now. Why is it called esports? Can we use it in a sport at all? I can I can sort of agree with that. It's not really a sport. I feel like people who call it a sport are just really sweaty. But that being said, it's fun to watch, man. Defend the objective. We have taken objective Oh, that being said, I don't think I've ever met like a real person who thought that esports was a sport. Ah, uh, yes, the invisible man blending in with the rocks. What's up, YouTube Gaming? You ever play competitive BF? Yes. 
Although, competitive battlefield's sort of not really a, much of a thing, but I didn't play game battles for it. Should be called E Entertainment? Yeah, but that name sounds way worse than esports. At least esports comes off the tongue nice. Until you think about it, it's like, wait, we're calling competitive gaming sports now. What? Special skin for the Ribby Rolls looks good. Yeah. Making me want to get it now. Holy tits. Alright, we're just going to spam this with nades until I heal a bit. aim was so bad there. If I just locked it down and gotten the double, I would have been fine. I would have survived that. We are winning. Performance enhancing drugs and gaming? That's hilarious. Yeah. Like, guys taking Ritalin. It's so funny, too, because the whole reason that, like, that became uh, a known problem in esports is one of the guys who just won the CSGO, like, majors was getting interviewed, and the interviewer was like, man, how do you guys do it? How do you guys practice for like five to six hours a day and maintain that level of focus? And the guy was like, dude, like, what do you what do you even mean, man? We use Ritalin, dude. Ritalin is how we do it. And the guy was like, uh, okay. It was just kind of funny because it was like the guy admitted to using something to enhance their gameplay. But they couldn't ban him because it wasn't illegal, so... They like they had to institute those rules after, but the guys basically won the majors, and then we're like, yeah, we uh, we were on Ritalin the whole time, bro. We have taken objective Choke points. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they shall not pass this for a premium, but on the 28th, you can buy it individually. Work and Lurk got busy for a second. Adderall is basically legal meth. Yeah, and, and you pump it into kids. I don't I don't want to get too much into that, but yeah. <laughs> Adderall's effed up, dude. It's, it's basically just it's just mild methamphetamine, dude. It's just a little bit. Just a little bit of sprint sprinkles of meth. That's all Adderall is. Love the LaBelle, even though Upshaw isn't a fan. What do you love about it? I don't I don't know what there is to love. That's my thing. I don't really I don't really get it. <laughs> to me it's just bad. We got to capture the objective. Is Battlefield 1 worth the money. Uh, I think so. It also has gone on sale before. Um, if you haven't purchased it, Dawson, you might want to wait a little bit. Uh, it was on sale like last week. It'll probably go on sale again at some point soon. You'll probably be able to pick it up then for... I think it was on sale here in where I live in Canada for like 50% off. So, How's the assault tank? The assault tank's pretty good. Um... It's got better splash damage than the main cannon on this thing, but doesn't do 
as much damage to other tanks. So if you're playing on a map like this where it's massive tank versus tank combat, you're going to want to run the heavy breakthrough. Something with uh, something with higher damage against other tanks. It's a slightly longer range MLE or SMLE with a lower reload rate to me. To me, that's not really worth it. But I guess it just doesn't fit my, my style of sniper. I think the Lebel would be so much better with the Marksman variant. You know what? I agree with that. I think the Sniper... I don't really like any of the Sniper variants, to be honest. But then again, it's not my gaming style. So I can't really dictate people who like to sit back and snipe. There we go. He's toasted, man. Watch it, there's a scout. Oh, he's pulling back again? Why would he do that to himself? Over there, an enemy tank. Oh my god, he's so bad. What is he doing? Could have made that shot if I had taken it. I'm wondering if he has a repair person. There we go. No, he doesn't. Objective must be protected. We are losing objective Charlie. I think it's better than the SMLE. Agree to disagree. What is, do we know exactly what the sweet spot range is of the of the weapon? We have lost objective Edward. Hey mom. It sounded like a tank shooting up high on me. Any plans for Mass Effect on Andromeda? I don't plan on playing it. Really. Just looking at some of like the early footage and stuff. And early reviews? Just kind of looks meh. There's a shock trooper! You see him? Shock trooper! Are you serious? Dude, he's just... Wow. I will never understand some people in this game. Guy is straight artillery striking me with invisible range. Some weird shit, dude. We have lost objective button. I think it's 40 to 82.9 for the label. Alright. 
That would put it the exact same as the SMLE, though. Shock trooper spotted. Just with like five extra meters. So we're getting hit from the field to my right as well as up on the hill. Solid. Oh wow, what the hell was that? Oh god, what the hell is that? So this is the new pistol or new primary for the tanker class. The old MLE extended. Ah uh, yes, the Saint Chamon. Labelle is fifty to ninety meter sweet spot. Okay. Uh, I love the fact that they're adding weapon level 10 variants, Chris. I think it's really good for the game. What's up, Lord of Darkness? What's up, Robert? Martini with the scope is coming, so... That's insane. <laughs> that's kind of nuts. Uh, la, la, la. Let's try out a little bit of Martini, hey? Let's do a little bit of that. Somebody says Martini Calibri. Let's go Martini Calibri. One thing I will say about these new maps is that I think the player base is a little bit better. I think everybody's a little bit more tryhard. Everybody's PTFOing a lot. It, it's cool, man. It, it's kind of nice. Like, it feels like... I don't know. <laughs> it feels good, man. Got to go. See you later, dude. Alright, later on, Vorny. Oh god, what am I doing? Don't see me! <laughs> well, there's your first Clipper kids, or kill, folks. The there it is, boys. We have taken objective Charlie. The objective is ours. Keep it that way. Man, I straight up struggle to talk sometimes. <laughs> Some of the shit I say makes no sense. There's a billion dudes in this building over here. I don't want to push too quickly because I have the martini. You gotta be kidding me, I'm dead. Do I like FIFA 17? I've never really played it to be honest, man. That's an enemy shock trooper. Oh, tank, tank. God damn. Wait. Well, that guy was invisible. I thought I saw something shooting in midair. I figured it was the tank shooting me. Nah, it was that dude who was invisible with the Mars. <clears throat> Too many times I was all capped in the first week? Yeah. Sighted! An enemy soldier! That's a tank! 
I played FIFA before. I, I guess I should specify. Not that I haven't played FIFA, I just haven't played 17. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, once you play one, you sort of play them all. Oh, he's dead. Just got the show show? Nice, bro. All right, back to the gameplay. I'm heading to bread, bro. You have a good one. Cheers. All right, later on, KTS. Thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate the tip, buddy. Uh, what monitor? I just use a random 26-inch TV. Biggest. If you're playing console games, refresh rate is not going to be too much of a concern for you because you can only refresh so many times to match the console's frame rate. Um... Like, you don't need to get a 144 hertz monitor for console gameplay. You're just kind of throwing your money away. But, um, my biggest piece of advice would be don't go too big. Big TV will get you killed. Won't be able to track people. You won't be able to see people as easily. That's a scout. All right, let's get a quick repair off. Halfway there, we have the upper hand. <clears throat> Keep airballing these shots. All right, I'm gonna get a refill, and then I'm gonna engage that assault tank. Yeah, we got tanks coming in. I have no rounds. All right, we're gonna back her now. We have taken objective Charlie. We need to restock ASAP. Come on, baby. Over. 
Sorry, dude. Yeah, smaller TV is a lot better because it's everything's kind of more central. Like your map is in the corner of the screen, right? Like you don't have to look. You won't have to be looking down so much to find your map and stuff. Like your your all the information is kind of more readily retrievable in front of you. Enemy cover. Plus, I think it's overall easier to see people. Oh god, show show. We have lost or uh, no, Char 2C is what I meant to say there. He's on the way. Watch it. I mean, with that being said, if visuals are not a huge thing to you, there's no real reason that running a 55 inch is bad. It's just a little bit trickier to see everything that's going on. Got that res. Are we actually gonna get the steal right now? Yo, that's clutch. All right, let's see if we can get the reses off. Wow. That's clutch, man. We just stole their tank. Tank Buster round, I think. Oh, no, that's smoke. We have lost objective. We have taken objective Edward. Hey, there it is. Oh my god, I actually might get a might get a smoke kill with this thing. Probably gonna die right now though. That freaking behemoth. That thing will two shot me right now. Yeah. Oh my god, feels terrible, man. Hail guys, fail. Shit. We have lost objective That's objective captured. The good thing about these tanks is they can't turn when they're, you're going. <sighs> Yo, this is a no salty tears stream, all right? No tears, only dreams now. Even though that tank just row killed me, and I was on the side of it, no tears, no salt. <clears throat> Now, where did their frickin' char go to? We had to be able to trade skins? Yeah, you know what, too? They, they put in an exchange tab, except it's not like an exchange with other players. It's just a thing that you can buy certain ones at certain times with, and I feel like that was silly. I feel like I thought the whole time that was gonna be like an actual exchange, and it's not. I would love to see like an actual player-based economy for weapon skins. One health, wowzers. Uh, Capitalizer, thank you for the sub, dude. Appreciate that. We have lost objective part. Ooh, 
land ship. There were dudes trying to push up along. Uh, Lorraine, thank you for the sub, dude. We have taken objective butter. Objective we'll be back shortly. All right, buddy, no problem. Oh, trench radar. <laughs> that guy sounds so goofy, man. That ain't spooky at all. We are losing objective butter. the tank. There's a little bit of shit going on at this point. Why is there so many explosives hitting me right now? Dude, what's up, T-Hawk? Uh, second DLC, I think, is coming in July. Do you get a grenade back with the ammo pouch if you are a cavalry? We have taken objective. Uh, no. Grenades are set up on a different system now. They have a gradual replenish rate instead. We are winning. Hmm. Enemy machine gun, side Possible calibre kill? Ah, oh, he's dead. See, like, the G95 is better now for doing the whole calibre challenge thing. Because it hits consistently for more damage than the Martini does. If you are trying to get Calibri kills, make sure you aim for the head, because headshots with the Calibri, you know, F this dude, man. I'm sick of this dude. Um, Calibri headshots do 25 damage, close quarters. So if you're trying to finish people off, you can definitely do it that way. Please use the Hellfighter Trench Shotgun. <sighs> Rather not, dude. It's kind of terrible. <laughs> it's kind of terrible. I don't know. It's not the greatest. All gadgets are going to gradually recharge. Only ammo will replenish from support ammo packs. Yeah. That's sort of the case now, except they're extending it. Stream later, not 100% sure, Kyle. I gotta get up at 6.30 tomorrow morning to work. Kill me. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure, dude. Hey, Curran. Please use the martini for a minute. I, I literally can't get ahead. People are constantly, I'm gonna use the martini. What do I do? I use the martini. 
while using the martini, people say, use, use the martini. Bro, I am. I am using it. What do you want from me? I don't know what else I have to give. Don't let them take the objective. I'm looking right at an enemy soldier. How do you get a high score? Uh, do the things. That's objective. PTFO, um, which means play the objective. We have taken objective Edward. Use the martini, please. Guys, can we please get a use the martini, please? Spam in the chat right now. Because clearly I haven't used the martini in a little while. And if I could just use the martini, please. We have taken objective butter. Yo, I think I need to up my plane sensitivity some more. We have taken objective duff. Objective stated. Enemies on the rock. Did we shake that dude? Certainly not. A trench raider kit is available near your location. It's pretty chill, uh, 1C. And it's a fun job because everybody's always so stoked. Like, people love getting parcels, right? Like, that's the thing. They absolutely are fired up. Like, when have you been disappointed to get something in the mail? Answer is never. Nobody is ever disappointed. Nobody comes down to my workplace and is pissed off because I gave them the... Some piece of clothing or some shit they've been waiting on. You know? Everybody's always fired up to get the mail. So my job is pretty chill. Yeah, for sure. Defend the objective. That's an enemy Already scout. getting lit. Feels great. Feels great, mate. There's absolutely no debate. How are you so on my butthole? Oh, I'm janking the turn there. <laughs> Damn it, I goofed it so hard. All right, let's. Let's try it again. Let's go for another one. See, well, that's the that's the thing I like, Crunchy Dan, is I don't actually, like, give people their mail. I just give them the parcels. That's, like, my job. So I don't give people the bills, man. I don't give, I don't give people the things they don't want. I just give them what they want, you know? Uh, son of a tit, can I be on your ass for once? I'm sick of this dude always being behind me, man. Got me drove crazy. Terrible time to switch weapons. Terrible time to miss. And all right, I guess I can no longer take a plane. All right, guys, I'm using the martini now. What's your favorite BF1 weapon skin? Probably the Doughboy for the bar.
<laughs> He's trying to get a delivery kill. We are losing objective. Yo, Matthew, appreciate you watching the live stream at work, mate. Hope I don't get you fired. Yo, so right now I'm bringing you guys the most cliche streamer request gameplay on the channel. The old martini and delivery action. All right, let's get a flare out over there. We have taken objective butter. Guy was at the wrong side of me. Why are you lying down? Why would you lie down there? Uh, never lie down. Um, lying down is an easy headshot and an easy melee kill. Drop shotting pretty much doesn't work in that game for this reason. Switch squad. Uh, I can kick some people from squad, I think. Who are not from the stream, but. I don't really want to switch squad. Currently applying for a parcel carrier job, no lie. Thanks, man. Yo! Yo, Hunter, appreciate the tip, dude. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I should go buy myself a martini. Dude, I, I swear to God, that new donation sound scares the poop out of me every single time. Every single time. I'm just like, boom, headshot. Holy shit. But I appreciate that, buddy. Can we get a solid in the chat for Hunter? Thanks for supporting the stream, man. <clears throat> Capture the objective now. Double in substance I've been watching. Yeah, appreciate that, Dan. What are we at now? Like 8,060, I think, when I last checked? I can see anti-aircraft gun. Kobe! Now there is a mortar here. Guy's not on it anymore though. We're gonna get the behemoth soon, I think. Come on, dice. Seriously, dice, come on. I think that's a bomber shooting at us. Can't see where it is though. We've got to capture the objective. I drop shot all the time. Here's the issue. Here's the drop shot and here's the time it takes to get up. It's very delayed. And there's no real like... I think what's better than drop shotting is... Uh, is slide shotting. Like this. I would advise trying to get used to doing that, because you can actually stay mobile. While sweetie swagging in on people. 
If you have a scuff, it's even easier to do. Do I stream every day? Uh, try to. I miss days. Uh, it depends. Goodness gracious. Like, I work at with Canada Post. I'm gonna try to switch to more of like part time and full time YouTube. Uh, like part time Canada Post, full time YouTube soon, but it depends on my schedule, really. Like, some weeks I'll work, I only get a couple shifts. I'm not, a, I'm not really a full time employee. So, if I, on a week I get a couple shifts, I'll probably stream like two times that day. Uh, Valus is jacked. Thanks for the sub, dude. We have taken objective the flare kill to the martini kill. Who's got ammo? There's another Calibri. Another Calibri? <laughs> I'm getting guys on mortars, so it's not exactly hard mode, but... Uh, pseudo deity? Thanks for the sub. Go. Oh, we got the behemoth. That's sad. I don't like getting the behemoth, because it feels like... Potato. Feels like, oh, we... We suck. Here's our behemoth. Look, there, the scout. Again, lying in your belly? Instant kill. Need ammo. Beat the meat. How many Clipper kills have we gotten at this point? Shut up again. Uh, don't know what's going on here exactly. I saw two dudes run over this way, but I guess they died. I don't know. Oh my god. Yo. Let's rewind that back. I slide directly into him. I no scope him. Right in the chest. Hit for 81 damage. I swing with the club, which is supposed to be a finisher at that kind of health. What happens? Get knife from the back, lol, gg, get good, get good, scrub. What even, man? What even, dice? We've got to capture the position. This game hates me. You're still using Martini Calibri? Uh. Yes, I am. Took me a second to think about it for a second. I'm gonna go back after this game, but... No, I'm not embarrassed. I think I got... Uh, that was a ping issue. Because I swung and it, and, and it auto-locked my melee and everything. Apparently this doesn't blow up windows. The more you know. Is your internet connection DSL cable 
We're optical, and are you married? <laughs> what? A, what a question! Hey, bro, what's your internet speed? And uh, you banging, dude? You banging? <laughs> I love it. I, I have fiber optic internet, and no, I'm not married, but I do have a girlfriend. Ah. The the trickiest thing with pulling off the Martini Calibri Wombo Combo is that one shot. I, like that's the first time I've gotten the one shot benefit of the Martini this game. Now part of that's because I suck, but it doesn't happen too often. Just sub, uh, appreciate that hurricane. Uh the Calibri is that pistol I'm using. It only does four damage. So killing people with it, it's a big troll weapon. I've heard Upshell say dice games in... Dice please in non-dice games, yes. It's sort of just a, a meme at this point, but... I do rage at dice a lot. Sometimes deserved, sometimes undeserved. Tough to say. Alright, let's see if we can get a, just a solo Calibri. <laughs> Look at that feed. Double Calibri headshots in the kill feed right now. We're losing, but at least I'm having fun. Spare ammo, anyone? Man, I miss when the Calibri just did a flat 90. Because that would have been a windbang. I would have gotten that guy. Doesn't make sense that it, like, doesn't really do as much damage as the G95 in close quarters. Especially when the G95 can be fired literally three times as fast. Oh, well, I didn't die on that? Why do you go? What am I even doing? Am I actually expecting that to work? Mate! Mate! Come on, mate! Can you one shot headshot with the G95 without a headshot? Uh, no, but it does 90 damage, so it does 90 dropping to like 80 at range, so you get a lot more one bangs, because the other snipers in comparison do like 60, and the martini will do like 80, so if anybody's tickled, if anybody's like, walked through gas, gotten shot by one bullet with anything, it's always going to be a one bang. It's a fantastic finisher, as well as something that's really good for just straight shooting anyways. Rest in pieces. Yo, we are getting double cap right now. What's up, Jantwa? what it is. Did they change something with the martini? Because it feels like my melees are so, sort of delayed. Like, they're not queuing in. Like, I melee swung at that guy, and I know that it might seem weird <laughs> to you that I just kind of was like, a shot. I missed my martini shot, but then I was just kind of staring at him. But you're supposed to be able to get the rapid follow-up melee, and it still works with, like, the G95, but it's not working right now with my other guns. So I'm wondering if they tweak something with the martini. See, it's not a hit. Alright, crazy uh, trench raiders on the go. Where 
we go. Wow, he just hit like a quad. We are losing. Get good. <laughs> Hell Regal, I played with it a lot yesterday, McMac. It's not a good gun. Uh, try using the Automatico. Trust me. It'll change your life. Automatico's a far better gun. Just make sure you're tap firing it, is all. I'm gonna use an assault weapon like that. I'll, I'm gonna use like the Ribby Rolls. I could use a little bit of that. But I used a lot of the Hell Regal yesterday. Ah, dude. Martini by far is the most satisfying sound. It's a straight no contest with regards to sound. You should come down to the UK. I would love to, man. I really do want to go to Europe. Yeah, you hold you hold the tiny gun like this, like a little. Personal reviver, appreciate you, Ido. Yeah, Kobe, there is. There's always somebody begging for a gun, and then it kind of becomes a meme. Everybody's like, "Hey, hey, man, Martini, Calibri, what's the gun? What's the gun I like the least? That's what the guy, the people ask for." Um. That being said, like the Hell Regal is not bad. It's really good for flex. There's always just like a stereotypical gun that everybody thinks is the best gun, and I always try to be a hipster and say that it's not. First, the Netherlands, though. Yeah, just kind of all of it, man. Like I want to see all of it. I feel like there's so much to Europe, and I've literally never been there once. My menu stuck. Do you eat butt? Kobe? Daily. Alright. Don't come to the UK, we are full. Oh shit, feels bad, man. When do the level 10 variants come out? I don't know, they're out on PC. Uh, PC community test environment. Uh, yeah, Owen, the DLC servers are already a little dead, which is really a bad, a bad sign. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble finding ops games. What's up, Efrain? All right, let's see if we can get for that speedy butters cap. We have taken objective apples. No, somebody's on this point with us. Teammate, help me! Cross up with me, bro. There we go. Trench Raider time. It's getting heated. I love how many frickin' meds I have right now. Alright, I gotta just start running at these guys and meleeing them. Oh, the nade spam. Here we go. Uh, I got squad room. Uh, yeah, I can make squad room for you, uh, Jamwa. I'm um, just wondering if I can do it here. I'm afraid of menu lag right now. We try and get into like a little bit of a sketchy situation. 
Yo, this is why I don't like revolvers in this game. I just hit that guy for a headshot, and it did 22 damage. They are so underpowered, and the fact that it also only has six rounds, and fires like a potato speed, and muzzle velocity, like, there's no redeeming factors for them. I don't really know why they've been set up this way. Oh, man. A few bodies around. All right, let's see if this guy pushes in. If we get another, we need to get another flare out. Badly right now. Crunch. Got no rounds left with the revolver. Been sort of spamming it too hard. Sick of that guy. Sick of looking at him. I am the Tuscan Raider. Come at me, bros. Oh, they're all up top there. Shit! Into the smoke. Holy tits. Thanks, teammate. We're the team. Back down to two rounds again. Feels not cool, man. Now I'm lit. Let's see what's down here. Eh, sick. We got ammo again. Labelle is overpowered? Nah, dude. You need to try the G95 if you think the uh, Labelle is overpowered. I just, I clubbed him as he was dying. My bad, dude. I haven't played a game yet with bad servers. No, the issue is not bad servers. The issue is not finding servers. Alright, I need to get out of here. I'm assuming this guy's beneath. Maybe? I don't know, really.
Still dudes on this point. What the fudge, dice? Come on! You feel so sneaky with this guy, man. You just pop smoke. Do you not like operations? No, I love operations. I'm just having trouble finding it. What's up? This guy's falling. Forgot about the squad room? Yes, I did. Please don't get sniped. If I get sniped right now, I'm a flip. This is why I was delaying the squad room thing. Oh my god. This is literally as quick as I can do it. Holy moly. Come on, dice! This is literally like 40 seconds. I'm trying to... Just work! Just work! Come on! Let me play my game! There's people right there! Holy shit! Not a moment too soon. Alright, let's just heal up. Uh, I kind of want to push for D still. The issue then is you can't find operations games. I don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> you can't find servers. That's the issue. Especially when, during the first week of a DLC launch, if you can't find servers, that's a really bad sign. I believe they're all beneath. Ah. Oh my god, freaking mortars, dude. Of course he's got the freaking bayonet, damn it. Xbox servers are lit. Disabled by server settings. Oh my god. Yo, check this out right now. Bottom right corner of the screen, the 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 server admin just banned the Raider Club. You see this? <laughs> that is amazing. That's like my first bandage. I, I, they haven't actually kicked me, but they banned me from ever picking up the Raider Club again. That is hilarious. That is so funny. Uh, you can ban it from the, the administrative thing. This is not a... I don't believe this is a closed server. Wow, what a wimp. Yeah, PS4 is most players out of all three platforms, so if you can't... The issue's a time of day thing. When I get on midday, there's no operation servers. Well, like, the ones I join are empty. See, see, I love that. I love, like, when people do things to try and limit you when you're dunking on them. Makes you feel validated. All right, that revive is way too risky. Head shot, dead or done? Halfway there, we have the upper hand. 
Oh. Also, that problem on PS4? Yeah. It's an, it's an issue, and it's especially concerning when it's this early in DLC release schedules. No? That's my worry. Like, eventually that's going to happen with anything. You're going to have hard time for, hard times finding servers. But it shouldn't be happening in the first week. Rip. You want to pack you up. Now, uh, right now I'm using the sweeper. The auto loader is good, but this map has a little bit of a uh, longer range. I'm gonna try to give the LaBelle another go. Another good old college try. And we're gonna switch off of Calibri. Let's roll with the. Do, 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 do. Let's go from our step. Okay. Just regular operations matchmaking? Yeah. I don't know if everybody knows like the, the, how good of a mode operations is either. Damn, the amount of snipers right now. I think this guy's gonna try and go for my res, but he might get sniped. Shock trooper spotted! Whoever just died for my sins, appreciate you. So there's the LaBelle's one-shot range. But see, there's the problem with the Bell, LaBelle. Ooh, gas, almost killed myself on that. The problem with the LaBelle for me is that within, like, prior to that range, I'm doing 60. So it's like, I'm hardly hitting for any damage at all. It's better for, like, a range gun. Enemy soldier, sighted. But it's not an amazing... There you go, 200 meter headshot. It's not an amazing close quarters gun at all. Actually, it's, I would say it's the opposite of an amazing close quarters gun. Damn it, stop shooting me, mate. guy not existing? I don't know. I think I'm shooting at the wrong thing. Okay, he's behind that tree. Give us some ammo, someone. Sighted. An enemy soldier. Can't see him through that sniper shield. I'm in the UK. See, it might be easier, Douglas, because where you're later, but I find in the mornings where it's trying to... Like, part of the problem is that I'm playing in the middle of the day, and people just... There's not as many people playing in the middle of the day. But as a streamer, this is kind of when I stream. We have lost objective button.
Don't let the objective fall. You see that? It was like a thing. Weird. We have taken oh, also, did you guys hear about the up Easter egg on this map? Let's see if I can trigger it. Gotcha, Jeff. You see him? One of their soldiers. Dude. I don't know if this thing's actually that accurate. There's a up Easter egg where if you do a certain thing, there's a, a house that flies up attached to balloons. Return to the combat area. Hmm. It's along one of these fences. I, sh I need to look it up before I do it, man. I don't remember exactly where it is. But yeah, if you shoot specific wine bottles, and then... Um... And then you shoot the roosters on the houses. Right there. Because in up, that's how he controls the direction of his house. We have taken objective apples. Hold the objective. Does anybody know the direction of the roosters? Or the wine bottles? That's the hardest thing to find, I think. No, I haven't found the cavalry sword. Let's go for that bounce there. Get a few more bullets in here. Should have done that a, a second ago. Don't need to be hitting these shots, man. I'm done. Yep. Too many bodies. Yeah, the cavalry sword is in rupture. I don't know what um, what tree it's behind, though. What's up, Santi? Also, 140 likes on the stream, guys. Appreciate that. Can we shoot for 142? Let's go for 142 likes. These wounds need fancy. Me. Son of a gun. Slightly easier to tease out those shots at range. The A spot? I, I know that the up Easter egg is over there, but I don't I don't know where the actual wine bottles are. Pretty much all at the A spot. Ah. 
have taken objective Charlie. South field towards the A flag. Along the fence. Are they along this fence? Return to the combat area. We're like this fence. I don't want to trigger this now. Now I'm curious. Maybe somebody already triggered it. I don't know. We are winning. I can't, I kind of want to make this happen now. Ah, uh, game's gonna be over before we can even do it. Alright, I'll have to look it up and, and trigger it. Maybe I'll make a video about it or something. I know Jack Frags already has one, but I feel like I've kind of teased you guys about this now enough. On the map, there's a path? Alright. Alright, game's over. We'll we'll do this another time. Just spent the last little while walking around. Rip. Ugh. Uh, do I like Snoopy? Like the, the cartoon character? Or Snoop Dogg, the rapper? I just got a message from... Who's that from? When do I turn 97? Uh, Halloween. My birthday actually is on, on Halloween. It's kind of spooky. Alright, let's play a little bit of Ops. Quitting. Let's see how long this takes. Am I in European server? No, I doubt it. I think I joined East US. Not a fan of the bell. Damage inputs too little. Miss out on so many assists counts as kills. Yeah, I agree. Snoop D O double G. Yeah, man. Oh god, oh okay. this game, man. This game just has some silly loading screens. I feel like it got worse since the patch. I don't know. I don't know if I'm just crazy or not, but it does legitimately feel worse since the patch. All right, let's try and find an operation. I've been complaining today about how I can't find any, but we'll see if this works now. Devil's Anvil, let's go. Yeah, LaBelle seems hollow and empty. It doesn't seem like it does any damage, which meant, like, it weirds me out when there's people like, dude, the LaBelle is so... Dude. I just, I don't really get it. The city when neglected in this quiet sector. But then at dawn, on the 21st... That's 60 damage point blank. And it doesn't really seem to do a whole lot of damage until a pretty far range. Turning it into the devil's anvil. Another thing from up we already have are the Zeppelin and fighters. What? Dude, the movie up did not have a, a, is a behemoth. What do you think about increasing purchase price, including free DLC, so one will split up player base? 
Uh, I would be down with that. The only problem, Crazy North, is that people would then look at Battlefield and see, shit, Battlefield costs $100 now, screw that, I can buy Call of Duty for 80 So you, you run into that problem. I don't, I don't feel like EA would ever sell it for more than comparable games, because it would be bad. <laughs> that would be bad. What's up, Sandy? The movie Up had a Zeppelin. Did it really? Did it have fighter planes? I don't remember the Zeppelin. All right, and look at this. See, here's the issue. We're in a game. All right, I'm gonna unlock my squad. My headphones feel like they're clamped under the he my head. Why is this? Hey, Kumar. So we might get into one here. Why don't, I, why don't I play Battlefront? Because uh, it's kind of a dead game at this point. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of a dead game. And for me, the game got progressively worse with every every DLC they added. Like, I actually kind of liked Battlefront a, a good bit at the start when it first came out. And now it's kind of a potato. It's not very fun. <laughs> Straight up, like, not a fun game to play. What's up from the UK? What's up, Michael? Man, I really gotta rewatch the movie Up, dude. Seriously, man. So this is what I mean from earlier about dead servers. Like the only reason this is so populated is because everybody in my squad is from the stream, which is like. Three quarters of our team. Did you like Hardline? Yeah, Hardline was pretty decent. For sure. Why is my bitrate dropping? Bitrate stabilized. Let's go. But yeah, I enjoyed Hardline. It had a really good competitive uh, gameplay design. Hi from Oman. What's up, buddy? Greetings from Canada. Alright, here we go. It should populate now. Alright! We have raised the veil of hell! Now, let us show this for you who the true devils are! Fight until their blood is That was pretty badass. Stream keeps jumping. Yeah, my my internet is getting interrupted. I think. <laughs> Yo, T Block, appreciate the big lollipop tip, dude. Guys, can we get a solid in the chat for T Block? Appreciate you, man. Stream is acting up a bit. Okay, it looks like it's stabilizing. No, it's not. Why are you dropping? One sec. Doesn't look like I'm losing more than 6,000 on my bit rate. So I'm going to drop my bit rate entirely. We have taken objective apples. Okay, it might stabilize now, but it might be a slightly lower... Might not look as clear. I had to lower the um, the clarity on the stream. Oh. 
Do I like COD? Yes. It's stable now? Okay, good to hear, guys. Let's go with the G95. It's a bit less clear, but stable now. All right. This part of the map is so, so hard to push through. You really got to get in here and get a... Come on, guys, get in here. I need you. I'm dead. Debris kill. All right, I'm gonna pull back so I can get a safe spawn for my team and heal up a little bit. This is the problem with the new ops. The first objective and the last objective are really, really unbalanced. Let's get another flare out so we can see what's what. I think for this first set, this this area can be fixed by just making Alpha a gimme. Because in my my opinion, the early objectives should be the easiest ones to cap. We gotta get those guys out of that thingy down there. There we go. I think we're clear. I'm stepping into my own flare. Feels bad, man. We got 225 tickets left. If we get a couple more kills here, we'll be up to say 230. That's not bad for that first set of objectives. We have secured the sector. But the first set and the last set are always the trickiest here. Wow. A few spots. Kill this last guy so they can't back cap. And let's keep rolling. Why are some service tires 1k and some 5k? I have no idea. To be completely honest. Hey, what's up, fan play? Friendly gas, so we can push through that. Mm. These heels are pretty clutch right now.
God, I love the G95. So much damage. Miro, thanks for the sub, buddy. Ah. Xbox servers are down, really. How do I get good with the Mars automatic? I don't know. I don't really use it that often. Not a colossal fan of it. I find it's a little inconsistent. You have the potential to hit really heavy, but you also have the potential to miss like mad. <laughs> On a lot of shots. Mike got a PS4 just to be able to play with you. Damn, dude. How's it going, Bengal? Good to see you, buddy. Oh, man. I went to the gym yesterday, and my lats are toast. So toasted. I'm going to move my TV a little square up with me. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm waiting for that butter cap. So now I can be on the other side of A, hitting it up. Alright, so they're going to be all pushing up the hill from apples, I think. They're already in on B, burning. But our team's on A. Now the question is, is can I trust the team to cap A? I might keep pushing for B. Ah, they're capping A back. Sugar. Sugar, sugar. You see him? That's a show show. I hate this map so much, yeah. Down for everything, can't even sign in. Hmm. It could be just region specific. Did you see the concept of a PS5? Uh I, I don't is there a real concept of a PS5 or is it just Is it just hearsay? Oh my god, the nades, the mortars. It's all too much, mate. I need to get, this, get some flares out. That is the most important thing to our team right now, is flares, believe it or not. Flares will spot everybody out on the radar, and it makes the pushes a lot easier. Yeah, people on both sides of me. Got burnt out on the new maps, gonna play some of the other maps? Yeah, I've been, I played Vanilla last night, it was pretty fun. It's on the support website? Yeah. A lot of the times when servers crash like that, it's like you can get back on, but, or you, you can stay on if you were previously signed in, but if you weren't on by the time the, the down, the down service happened, you won't be able to get on then. Probably doing a poor job of explaining this.
Alright, we're capping B up. I'm gonna try and just shoot them as they cross over. Now we'll only have about 120 tickets left to do this final cap. So I doubt we'll be able to get it. Seems like every stream Upshall and Play explains how important flares are. Bro, because they're so important. Whenever I see a, a scout player running no flares on their kit, I weep. It's like the same thing as a medic not running meds or revives. What do I think about the new medic rifle? It's pretty good. Um, I think uh, other medic rifles are better, but it's not bad. It's a bit of a fun switch up. Feed right now, though. Can't hit these guys. Ooh, nice headshot. Scout is and will always be my favorite class, yeah. Uh, yep, can't sign into my Xbox, rip. The final objective is within our reach. That should do something. Maybe not. There's a shock trooper. Fifty of our soldiers remain. That's an enemy shock. Literally just shot that guy in the foot for that kill. All right, that's chaos. Oh. 22 health. Stop quick scoping, noob. This ain't caught. <laughs> get, get, get good, bruh. No, Shill's just being sarcastic. He's a supporter of the stream. Friend of the stream. Your boy, Shill. So many guys in the points right now. Ah! RSC, baby. The RSC. You know, my chair just made a spooky screech, like screechy sound. Um, the RSC is the best gun in the game for the meta class 
if you're not getting shot at. The moment you get shot at, though, is the worst. Twelve tickets. We're not gonna be able to get this one. Enemy shock trooper, stay alert. Although we are burning B right now. But yeah, it's probably just the one guy up there. It's gonna be a long haul to B with six tickets left. Four, yeah. Not happening. Beside our dead. Uh, surprised you haven't gotten assault messages from randoms? I do. I just, I don't have my notifications on, so they don't pop up. The bell is dope, though? Not really. Having dinner, see you later. Alright, peace, bro. Thanks for squadding up, mate. Let's go, boys. Trench man dude time. I'm gonna try and push with Chaos, who's got the kit. They're flaring me out right now. Which is not the greatest. Wow, so accurate. So I wanna push with Chaos to keep giving him those meds. Seeing how he's rocking our other sentry kit, it's good to try and keep him topped up too. I'm gonna push up. Yeah, it's very hard to win as attackers. No, I've never even gotten to the second map yet on operations on this map. Chill. It's very tough. B is like borderline impossible to cap, dude. We're losing apples already. Hi. Look at that, dude, 20 damage per bullet. What is the benefit of running a revolver? I don't understand. Literally like does the same damage as... I love it when the first aid won't actually go on the ground. No, I don't think the Trench Raider kit's the best, but it's one of the funnest. A 
flame trooper kit is available near your location. I kind of like to just spawn back there so we can get more and more of these kits. I know the sentry's not that great, but with regards to getting into the point, you're completely exposed up there on butters. Like, you, they pretty much see you from their spawn. So it's kind of nice to have something that can eat a bit more rounds. Hey, Purebred Alpha, how's it going, buddy? Ah, uh, no, Efrain, you cannot, um, you can't rank through the new DLC weapons if you don't have the DLC. Unfortunately, it's all behind a paywall. Which kind of saddens me, man. Yo, we might actually do this. But pretty much only because our team was too nervous to push. There we go. You could say Verdun Heights looks lit. <laughs> Too lit, man. Too lit, bruh. After an initial breakthrough, the Germans took the massive fort Dumont. This advance would soon come to a halt. I'm in school watching your stream. What's up, Sean? And resources into the area. How's it going, mate? To defend Verdun at all costs. And as the Germans approached Fort Beau, the outcome was far from certain. Yo, 171 likes on the stream. Appreciate that, guys. Can we shoot for 172? Morgen sollen wir Fort Vaux angreifen. Niemand weiß, was sich hinter diesem dicken Mauer. All right, so this is my very first time playing Fort Vaux operations. I've heard it's nade spam out the wazoo, but apparently you can flank all the way around the outside. So we'll have to see what this is like. This might be pretty good. Or it could be just like the biggest bottleneck you've ever seen. I'm suspended for 10 days for drinking in school. You're not allowed to have a water in school nowadays? That's that's disgusting, man. What's up, Sean? Appreciate the sub, dude. garrison have barricaded themselves. All right. Not sure what I want to use. Let's go with G95. Trying to just fight the suppression and get a shot off. But doesn't think I don't think it's gonna happen for me. Ow. Uh in zone? Yo? I didn't really see your name. Appreciate the sub though, buddy. Oh my god, just stop strafing, mate. I can't hit you. That should low-key be a tip for you guys. If you stay mobile, if you're getting shot at, and make your movement unpredictable, it's, it's really hard to snipe you. I like how Shiver's doing the slides, man. I can dig it. No need for hit registration there, boys. I'm going to go with something a little bit more close quarters. We're going to go sweeper. Haven't made the fort in operations. Yeah, this is my first time. Prepare to get wrecked. All right, Jesse. My, my butthole is clenched. Let's do this thing. Nate. Capture the objective now. We are moving through it at least. There's a grenade bomb. We are losing objective output. 
I think these guys are a bit nervous to actually get in here. Let's pull back over to A. We're protecting the objective. Get up! Seriously? Apparently it blocks the revive of your teammate standing there. We have taken the sector. I see nobody, I'm just spamming at this point. Alright, so we've only lost 45 tickets-ish, we'll say. That's not bad at all. A lot of medic weapons had minor recoil buffs, yeah. Yeah, if you, like, are uncertain whether or not you want to use a medic gun, now's the time to use one because... They're dope now. Well, the Mondragon Sniper since the recoil buff? Yeah? Because that one kicks a lot. Like, I feel like there's no real benefit of using that scope, but I might try it out now. Sick nade. Why, why are none of my reses working? This is weird. Yo, you can go back through here? Tight. This has the potential to be nuts right now. Oh, why did you have to see me? Uh, there's less recoil. Yeah, there's less recoil on the revive medics, and there's more of a spread decrease. This means your gun will get accurate with will be more accurate with rapid firing. Like before, you could fire the guns really quick, but they would lose their accuracy if you did so. Now they stay accurate. Set them off here. Let's get some reses. Stay dead, boys. I got you. We have secured. I'll deal with those wounds if you like. Yeah, this is like a better operation lockers than me. That Russian 1895 one shots at that range. Trey TV, thanks for the sub, dude. The show shot is so shit on how fast it fires. Yeah, but it does like double damage. Plus then it's like a 40 round magazine. If you compare it to the bar, it's like the magazine is double the size. I know it doesn't have a 40 round mag, but it's like it does if you compare it with time to kill to the bar, which is really fast. Plus the fact that the 20 rounds don't dump as quick. I don't know. I dig it a lot, man. I think it's a really, really good weapon. Uh, let's go Mondragon Sniper. Let's try that thing out. Brett, appreciate you, man. The final now, is our reach. probably a bad idea to try to use it inside of here. But screw it. I like to live that life dangerously. That's what I'm going to do right now. 
Actually, screw that. This is just nade spam galore. We're gonna go outside. And try to push him from the back. They're all watching this side hard. Uh... that 1911 man he got a headshot off yeah it's not the gun for this this map it's just not the gun for this map at all all right we got to set up on that flank dude we got uh, we got too many people trying to go through the inside which is like impossible oh god I didn't switch guns son of a gun a little lunch. We have taken objective butter. Oh, he's behind us. God damn. What's up, Nathan? There's a Hell Eagle defensive, Martini Henry Sniper, and Hewitt Storm, and Seb Slaughter 1906. Yeah, I saw that. Looks crazy. All right, let's actually fix my class this time. Hmm. Wonder what the 1907 trench could be like. That's first aid for you. Especially in this like freaking gas festival. It's hard to push when everybody's got a shoddy, man. It's hard to push. Walk around the corner and just get blasted. Hell Regal with a bipod is OP? I don't think so. And apparently it's gonna have less it's gonna be less accurate with the uh, when you're not bipoded than the regular Hell Regal. Regular Hell Regal's already pretty inaccurate. So I don't think, man. You really gotta get in. Yeah. Smoke will be cl clutching this. All right, here we go. Here's here's that flank. Let's do it. And he's watching for it, man. Dude is watching for that flank. Hmm. Stay alive, shiver me Timberlake. Yeah, impact grenades do less damage, yep. That is their downside. We need to get that open. Fifty of our soldiers remain. I don't get the point of bipods and SMGs. Well, the only one with uh, a bipod so far is the. Uh, what is it called? Shaga, we're gonna go shoddy like a scumbag. Um, I can't remember what this is called for the life of me right now. The Ribby Rolls, there we go. That's the only one with a bipod, that's more of a carbine. I mean, I guess the point of the, the, the carbine 
for the bipods is just to give the assault class something that's a little bit more usable at range because they don't really have anything for long range engagements. This feels not good, man. But me being here might just take a little bit of the pressure off the other side. It might make us cap. That was on the other side of the wall. Alright. Twenty of our soldiers remain. We have lost objective butter. Uh I don't hate the Hell Regal. I just everybody everybody acts like it's the god weapon and it's not. It's not really good, dude. It, the, this game is won and lost in the flank, but it's also won and lost in the time to kill. And the Hell Regal's time to kill is potato. Yes, our attack failed again. But while our great empire stands, we cannot give up. If you're accurate with the impact and the enemy won't have time to move compared to the regular, that's true. Although it did get nerfed, it's now got like a one second... Uh, Explosive time, so it's not quite as beneficial. I still think the frag is great for just flushing people out too because it's It's gonna actually be a one bang plus. It's got a bigger explosive radius Upshell needs a new chair Yeah, pretty much Not gonna get either of these Oh well Wow, this guy's bad with the Trench Raider kit. I'm bad with the shotgun though, so what can I say? Drop us some meds here, mate. There we go. Ow. Just stick with snipers and big maps. Nah, I like playing close quarters. Appreciate that, Nate. I mean, I'm 26 and 10. I would not say that I suck. <laughs> but it's it's hard to have a higher KD when you're playing this type of map. You can't really control a whole lot. Plus, nade spam kind of... Nade spam kind of runs your show. I like to switch it up. I don't think anybody wants to watch me only play... Sniper rifles over and over and over again every day. To me, that's a little boring. Ow. Uh, favorite map is the one we're on right now. I love this map, dude. I think Shiver's trying to get a raise. Look at your boy, man. I love it. Oh my god, I just naded myself. Potato is real. Dude, I have no frames right now. I have no frames. I can't see anything. <laughs> it's just dropping frames like it's it's my job right now. Use the new SMG. I need something to hire time to kill. What's up, Jamie? Nade spam is fine. It's fixed. There are no issues. There are no issues with nade spam. Just kill me, man. Just kill me. Nice hat, appreciate that, Isaiah. Oh, 
Oh man, I really need to find a explosives off server. Like, swear to God, I think about eight of my eleven deaths were just the nades. And I don't like that. I like dying to somebody shooting me. To me, that's much more enjoyable. The Kaiser praises his brave sons. In late June, literally dying of thirst. The French were been playing the show shit wrong. I'm still gonna call it the show shit, even though I like it now. Yeah, it's it's much better in the close quarters. But with devastating losses on both sides. Much, much better. While the battlefield All right, guys, I'm going to call it there for today's stream. I will be posting a video up, though, at some point today. Um, I don't think there'll be a night stream. And I'm sorry that this one was only three and a half hours long. My brother is home on his Easter break from the U.S. So I'm going to go hang out with him for a little bit, go to the gym and stuff. But I do have a video... That will go up just on the for like the unlock guy for the MLE extended, and I think I'm gonna put in with that video like a I think it was a 60 kill streak with just only tanker kits. Like I got 20 kills with the tank, and then I bailed on it right before it died, and then I got like a 20 kill streak with the MLE extended, and then stole somebody else's tanker kit. I stole like a C96 tanker kit and got another 20 kills. Um, so I'm going to be posting that video up today and just like how to unlock the MLE because I'm, I'm seeing a lot of other YouTubers posting like just unlock guides on the DLC weapons. So I feel like the DLC weapons have been kind of beat to death at this point. But I, I want to get up like an MLE video because I, I just I don't feel like anybody else has done that. So I feel like it would make a, a bit of a fresh video. I, an old quote, I just want to shoot people and have them shoot at me. Exactly. Exactly. I just... I want him, I want Battlefield to be about shooting people. That's all I want Battlefield to be. It's a much better game when you're just shooting at each other. Um, looks like J-Rob just went live. Let me make sure he's still live. Yeah, he started streaming eight minutes ago. So let's go drop a raid on my buddy J-Rob. He's a good dude. So that's his raid link. See you next stream. All right, later on Owen, later on Willows, later on Hunter, later on Purebred Alpha. Great stream though, later on Drift, later on Jake, yeah. I will enjoy the gains. Hopefully, hopefully I can embrace them. Appreciate it dudes, and I will see you tomorrow. We'll be doing a night stream.